Hi, grade 11. Today we are looking at exponential equations. I'll be doing these three examples with you. So let's start with example number one and see how we're going to do this. All three examples here today um, will involve factorizing. Eh? So let's start. When you look at the first question, the first thing I want you to notice is that there is a 2 to the x and there is a 2 to the x. Step number one is going to be to break up where you can break up. Do you see here? Here you can break something up. The rest will all stay the same. So step number one, you break up where you can break up. Eh? So I just call it break up. 5, 2 to the x plus 3 times. Now I'm going to break it up. This is 2 to the x times 2 to the 2. And this is equal to 68. So that's step number one. Step number two is I'm going to find the highest common factor. I'm going to take out a common factor. Do you see this is here and it's also there. But I'm only factorizing the left-hand side. Eh? It's only the left-hand side. The 68 stays 68. What's here? That is also here. 2 to the x. I'm going to take out 2 to the x. What is left? In this term, I'm left with a 5. Plus, in this term, I'm left with a 3 and a 2 to the 2. And I close the bracket. Okay? Then step number three is to simplify, simplify the bracket. So whatever is inside the bracket, you make it one number. So you put this on your calculator, 2 to the x, and you get 17. And this is still equal to 68. Step number four, you're going to solve for x. To get rid of this 17, I must divide by 17. But what I do on the left, I do on the right. So this and this will cancel. I'm left with 2 to the x, and this is 4. I make the base numbers the same. Now the base numbers have fallen away. This is equal to this. So my final answer is x is equal to 2. And that's how you do number 1. Let's look at number 2, grade 11. This is also a factorizing type, but let's look. It's a little bit different, eh? The first thing I notice is that this is a 3, but this is a 9. Step number one is to change the 9. I'm going to write 9 as 3 to the 2 to the x plus 3 to the 2x plus 1. So everything else stays the same. I just changed 9. Step number two, I'm going to remove the bracket. You multiply the powers. 2 times x is 2x. And then everything else stays the same. Then in my next step, I'm going to only break this one up, eh? So this one you can't break up, but this one you can write as 3 to the 2x and 3 to a positive 1. The right-hand side stays the same. Because this looks exactly the same as this, I'm only factorizing the left-hand side. So I'm going to ask myself, what is here that's also there? So it's 3 to the 2x. So then I'm going to take it out. Then... This over this gives me 1 plus this divided by this will leave me with a 3 and the right-hand side stays the same. So the right-hand side stays the same the whole time. I'm going to simplify this bracket. So 3 to the 2x times, this is a 4, is equal to 4 root 3. And to get rid of the 4 on the left-hand side, I'm going to divide by 4. And divide by 4. This and this will cancel. 3 to the 2x. This and this will cancel. This is root 3. Now we've learned before, if you want to remove the root, it's the inside power, that's a 1, and the outside root, that is a 2. So we write root 3 as 3 to the inside over outside. Inside over outside. Now the base numbers are the same which means the powers are equal to each other. So I'm going to write 2x is equal to a half. And now I just divide both sides by 2 to solve for x. I get x to be a quarter. Now let's look at number 3. So number 3 is a little bit different. Now you must focus grade 11s. Do you notice that this is 3 to the 2x, but this is 3 to the x. So they are not the same. Okay, that's the first thing you must notice. They're not the same. So I'm not going to break anything up. I'm going to show you something else. 
3 to the 2x can be written as 3 to the x to the 2. This is the same thing. So this can be written as that. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to rewrite that and then I'm going to show you everything else stays the same. Now to make the sum easier, I'm going to write let 3 to the x be k. So wherever there's a 3 to the x, I'm going to make it k. So let me show you. There's a 3 to the x, so that's k. And there's a 3 to the x, so that is k. This is going to be k squared plus 6 times k minus 27. And then I am going to factorize. But now there's no highest common factor. This is a trinomial. So this is k and k. I'm going to have 9 and 3. This is a plus and this is a minus. And I'm going to solve for k. k is either negative 9 or k is a positive 3. Now you must remember you're not solving for k. You're solving for x. So after this step, I want you to go look here. What is k? k is 3 to the x. So now I'm going to replace k again. So this is actually 3 to the x is equal to negative 9. Or this is 3 to the x is equal to 3. Now this, there's no solution for that. But this one, the base numbers are the same. It means the powers are equal. Remember if there's no power, the power is 1. So this x is 1. So here you can write x is equal to one. So another way to do the same sum grade 11s, let me show you. Again, step number one, again, step number one is to rewrite this like this. You can do that. Everything else stays the same. You don't have to make anything K. You must just, just remember that they look the same. But because this one is squared, it's a trinomial. So here you're going to have 3 to the x and 3 to the x. Then what times what is 27? 9 times 3. A plus and a minus. And then you go straight to the answer. 3 to the x is opposite sign. Or 3 to the x is equal to a positive 3. There's no solution here. There's an invisible one. So when the base numbers are the same, the powers are equal. So x is equal to 1. And that's how you do a trinomial where you have a 2x and an x.